What's going on, everybody? My name is David Delano, one of the writers and handicappers with winnersandwiners.com. Today, I'm going to have a free college basketball pick for you guys for Friday, December 30th, 2022. We're almost at the end of the new year, looking to finish strong. Make sure you like and subscribe. That way, you'll be notified anytime myself or any of the other handicappers drop a video. Also, check out winnersandwiners.com, statsall.com for free articles on every single game, every single day. And uh, check out our sponsor, No House Advantage, Fantasy Sports Redefined. Uh, link in the description. You can get yourself a first-time deposit bonus of up to $50. And also have a promo code as well for 50% off. Check out the expert section with Winners and Winers. We've got a lot of, lot of combo and, and special offers going on for the end of the year. Now, um, let's get into this uh, college basketball pick. Yesterday, I split my college basketball picks. I hit on my... Uh, Best bet, but dropped the other play. Uh, best bet was in the game with um, Longwood and High Point. Uh, dropped the pick on the James Madison game. But um, overall, you make a lot of picks on a lot of videos. Some things have been hotter than others. Uh, one thing that I've uh, been rolling on right now has been college basketball. Right now, um, over 60% of the season. Um, we have a lot of guys who do great jobs on winners and winners. When it comes to college basketball this season, I'm bleeding college basketball. It's not even close right now. So NBA, I can't say the same, but in college basketball, um, no one's close to me right now. So every pick doesn't win, but like I said, over 60%. These obscure college basketball games have been something that have been um, shining for me. I'm going to go ahead and lay. I'm going to lay seven and a half points on Colgate today. To get it done against Loyola, Maryland. And I know, you know, these videos sometimes with these obscure college basketball picks, you know, people can be worried about the line moving one way or another. Look, it doesn't take a whole lot of money to move the lines in games like this, um, especially with bowl season. Not sure how many people are paying attention to this game, but I think we have a pretty substantial mismatch here. Colgate is 128th in the nation, according to Ken Palm. Right around teams like Hofstra, Akron, DePaul, and UMass. Loyola is 303rd around teams like Presbyterian, Idaho, and Jackson State. Now, we have a big, big uh, D, um, discrepancy on the offensive side of the ball. Colgate is 42nd in the nation in adjusted offensive efficiency, and they play the 217th rated schedule. They've uh, beat Syracuse this year. They played Delaware and Buffalo and Duquesne tough. And on the other side, Loyola, Maryland is uh, 290, actually, they're, I'm sorry, they're 335th in adjusted offensive efficiency, even worse than they are overall, and they played the 292nd rated schedule. They lost by 18 points to Southern. They also lost to a bad Coppin State team and a bad Hampton team. Colgate shooting four, 14th in the nation in a field goal percentage, 10th in the nation in three-point percentage. I think we've got a pretty big mismatch here, despite what the overall records look like. I'm laying 7.5 on Colgate to get it done in this game over Loyola, Maryland. The game goes about 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday, December 30th. I also have another video up that you guys can check out. And depending on when you're watching it, got videos every single day. Check out Mason's videos, Scott's videos, Arthur's videos. Check out the Winners and Winders site with the promo codes. Also check out the Loud Esmond's videos as well. God bless everybody. Good luck on whatever you're playing.